Captain Invader.
and seven and a 4.14 goals against average. Both these teams had goalkeepers who played in the All-Star game last night. Swanner for Canton, Schweitzer for Milwaukee, and both All-Star goalkeepers get a rest in this game tonight. Milwaukee, blue jerseys, white shorts, white numerals. The Invaders in the home gray with the black shorts. Black numerals, red and black trim. The line of Les Scarelli, Kia, and Don Tobin, the forward three to start for Canton. And it'll be Tom Condrich and Oscar Pisano on defense. For Milwaukee, Louis Bennett starts the game along with Jeff Rogers and George Pastor. And the defenders for Milwaukee are Larry Sunderland and Oscar Padilla. Milwaukee, the visiting team, will control the kickoff to start the first quarter. And they will attack from our left to our right. The invaders go the other way across your radio dial, right to left, the attacking area for the Canton invaders. Oscar Pisano, as is his custom, the last invader off the bench to start the game. And we are ready to get this one underway. Pastor and Jeff Rogers, and there's another Rogers on this team named Lee. They both play some. And here we go. Pastor dishes back at the Milwaukee red line. It's Padilla. Padilla, the ball knocked out of play by Leschkarelli. And Milwaukee will put it in from the touchline right side at midfield. Oscar Padilla to handle that. Four seconds ticked off the clock on the start. Padilla drops it back for Sunderland. Sunderland, long ball in the corner. It's over the head of the man and uh, knocked away. Pastor couldn't get to it, and uh, Namoski cleared it out of play. Bennett will put it in play just inside the red line on the left side of the floor. Louis Bennett dishes back to Sunderland at midfield on the right side to Padilla. Padilla, a couple of steps in on Scarelli, wants Rogers in the corner. Pisano cuts him off, but Ro uh, Rogers falls down and the trip call goes against Oscar. Pastor to put it in play from the left corner outside. Sunderland fires, hit the post on the right side. Rebound comes out. Scarelli trying to get around Padilla, lost his balance. Padilla comes in, picked up by Condrich. Wall feed blocked by Pisano and controlled by Tom Condrich ahead to Les Scarelli. Scarelli, right, right side feed at midfield for Don Tobin. Toby into the Milwaukee end. Right side for Scarelli. He fires and Pierce with a save and he just pounced on the rebound and Kia was standing there waiting to pop it in if uh, Pierce had mishandled that ball. Louis Bennett, right side, Milwaukee red line. Midfield, it comes to Pastor, and now back to Padilla in the Milwaukee defensive zone. Jeff Rogers on the right side at midfield with Pisano. Now Bennett guarded by Tobin. Ahead it comes for Pastor. Lost the ball to Tobin, who clears it back in the goal box to Bill Namofsky. And now Tom Kondrich, left side of the box. Line change for the invaders. Pikasinski and Kramer, the forwards. Magic Celestin at midfield, and Tima and Paxos come in on defense. Kramer had the ball knocked away by Sunderland in the left corner, and the Invaders will put it in in the Milwaukee zone right at the curve of the boards. It'll be uh, Magic Celestin to trigger it in for Canton. John Delinsky is on the floor for Milwaukee along with Tim Alioto, and the front three are uh, Pete Knezic, Steve Moyers, and uh, Lee Rogers. Paxos with the ball on the right point. Left side feed to Magic, fires off the wall, no, heads it back, Celestin does in the corner. Lee Rogers clears, but it's kept in by Tima. And now Pikasinski, middle of the floor to Celestin. Celestin being guarded by Moyers, back on the right side to Tim Tima. 13-20 to play in the first quarter. It's knocked in the box and controlled there by Tony Pierce. One of the outlet on the left side, and it wasn't open. Now he feeds right side to Pete Knezic. Midfield to Lee Rogers. Rogers working on Magic. His pass is behind Knezic. He's got to chase it back in the Milwaukee end. Now Pierce has it in the goal box. Ahead to Delinsky. Delinsky left side to Alioto and back on the right side to J.D. John Delinsky working on Pikasinski through the middle. He shoots. Good save, Namofsky. The header on the follow will not go. Dangerous play is whistled on Mike Paxos and an injured Milwaukee player. And I think that's Steve Moyers as he took a wicked fall down there. And he's in quite a bit of pain in front of the invader goal. Moyers and Paxos collided as Moyers was going for the header. 
And Moyers went down in a heap in front of the net. They will kick it in from the top of the arc, but first they've got to attend to Steve Moyers. Both trainers out on the field, the Milwaukee trainer and uh, Steve Morris from Canton. And Morris headed back to the Invader bench. They've got uh, Morris's shirt up and looking in the chest area. I wonder if he could have cracked a rib when he took that fall. Let's hope it was just the wind knocked out, but I don't know. The injury to Steve uh, Moyers was. Maybe when Steve Paxos comes back up here, he'll be able to fill us in on what went on. Milwaukee will kick it in now. The foul on Paxos, the second one on the Invaders. 12.52 to go in the first quarter. And Horst Fleps is into the lineup replacing Moyers. Delinsky from the arc beats right side. Knezic shoots, kick save, and a dandy by Namofsky. And Knezic in a fight for it. Kramer and Pikasinski double team. And Artie is able to clear it back at the goal box for Bill Namofsky. Not led short on the right side to Mike Paxos. 12.38 to play in the first quarter. Paxos, long lead ball. That's over everything and into the seats. And it'll be a goal kick for Milwaukee with uh, 12.35 to go in the first quarter. Tony Pierce with the ball sends it out to John Delinsky, and it's beyond him, and Fleps and Paxos fight forward in the corner. And now Magic with a deflection, but we've got a whistle and a foul. Third foul on the Invaders goes against Celestin. 12.22 to play in the first quarter. Delinsky lets it go. Namofsky knocks it back outside. J.D. heads it in. The ball was knocked away by Tima, and then uh, cleared out by Tima ahead to Celestin. Invaders on the attack. Magic across the red line, left side to Pikasinski. Rudy around Lee Rogers, but Rogers got the ball ahead, and Horse Fleps has it at midfield for Milwaukee. Fleps right side to Tim Alioto, brother of the Fort Wayne coach Tom. His shot saved by Namofsky going down to his right. Long lead for Kramer, but Delinsky knocked that one back, and Lee Rogers with it for Milwaukee. Rogers drops it back to Pete Knezic. 11.48 to play, and Knezic back in front to Tony Pierce. Pierce midfield, it comes to Jeff Rogers. He can't control. Tima ahead for Pikasinski in the corner. Pierce out of the net to clear. And Knezic comes the other way. Peter Knezic to Louis Bennett. Right side ahead. And Namofsky out to kick that one away from Pastor. Rogers ahead. Now Bennett. And Tobin controls for the invaders. Toby right side at midfield. Takes it down uh, to the Milwaukee red line. On the right point it goes to Les Scarelli. Scarelli fires and the save by Pierce. He knocked it out of the net and then controls at his feet for Bennett. No score, 11.07 to play. Larry Sunderland right side at midfield for Milwaukee, ahead for Pastor. Pastor to Bennett. Bennett out front to Rogers. Rogers, and the ball knocked away by Kia. And the invaders in the counterattack, Pisano with Kia right side at midfield. Oscar put it ahead, and Kia was looking the other way. Sunderland takes it away from Milwaukee, but Kia deflects and Pisano controls. Dumps it down in the zone. The ball knocked away by Padilla, but Oscar blocked the feed. Double teamed in the corner. And a fourth foul against the Invaders goes against Pisano. No fouls on Milwaukee yet, and a lot of time left. The Invaders in foul trouble. Steve Paxo says Moyers appeared to be all right when he left the field. Maybe just the wind knocked out of him. If it was all that, that was all it was, he was lucky. Pastor down in the invader zone and lost the ball for a second. Kia and he fight for it, and Kia lost his balance, goes down. Pastor out front, Rogers, bad pass taken away by Tobin. And now Kia, invaders have only one foul to give and only over 10 minutes left in the first period. Oscar Pisano at the invader red line. Milwaukee backed up into their own end right now as Tobin crosses midfield, working on Bennett. Kia posted up out in front of the box, back in the midfield circle to Pisano. Left side at midfield for Les Scarelli. Scarelli comes in on Padilla. Padilla stepped in front and took the ball away ahead to Pastor. Pastor clears with Jeff Rogers. Invaders have three defenders back. Pastor shot wide. Rogers missed the header on the follow. And coming the other way is Scarelli for Canton. 9.42 to play in the first quarter. Scarelli drops it back, and Don Tobin has it at midfield. Toby right side for Condrich, and now Scarelli. Scarelli working on Padilla in the Milwaukee zone. Crosses to the left side. The pass for Tobin intercepted, but Scarelli got it back. 
And Lesh for the Invaders moves in on Padilla to Kia posted up. Left point area to Don Tobin. Tobin, and bad pass taken away. Kia broke the wrong way, and coming the other way is Sunderland for Milwaukee. Pisano with him, and he drops it back for Pastor, and Pastor will back it up in the midfield area. Alioto in on defense for Milwaukee. He takes it back at his own red line. Kia with pressure on him. Right side to Fleps at midfield, picked up by Tobin. Fleps through the midfield circle. Scarelli helps out, and the pass is intercepted by Condridge. He leaves it at the Invader red line for Scarelli. Now Pisano, now Tobin on the left side of the floor. 8.51 to play in the first quarter. Kramer right side at midfield as the Invaders move on the line change. Kramer drops it back uh, left edge of the midfield circle to Tim Tima. And now Celestin on the right side of the floor. Magic Man in on Delinsky. J.D. knocked it away, but Tima controls. Left side feed comes for Celestin. Celestin lost the ball to Lee Rogers, and back in the box it goes to Tony Pierce. Pierce, long lead for Fleps. That's a three-line violation. And the Invaders will go back to the Milwaukee red line to put it in play. 8.27 in the quarter. Pikazinski heals the ball back to Tim Tima. Tima launches it over the glass and out of play. And that one scattered somebody in the crowd in the first row in the balcony. I think that, yeah, I think you're right, Lynn. Lynn McDowell up here with us. I think that was the same lady that got hit the last game we were here. I think they have those tickets all the time. And she may show up with a helmet next week. 8.21 to play. In the first quarter, Delinsky midfield working on Paxos. J.D. cuts to the middle of the floor and feeds on the right side to Alioto. Alioto cuts into the red line, picked up by, uh, by Rudy. Ball knocked away by Magic. Alioto got it back and dishes back to Knezic. Knezic at the Milwaukee red line. Kramer on defense there. Now Alioto, middle of the floor at the red line. Left side feed at midfield. Fleps taps it back to Delinsky. J.D. for Fleps up the right side of the floor. He got a weak shot off ball, mishandled out front. Cleared out Knezic with a shot blocked by Paxos. And Kramer controls on the right side for Canton. Now Celestin, 7.44 in the quarter. And the Invaders on the attack. Celestin through the midfield circle on the right side to Paxos. Now left side at midfield to Tim Tima. Tima into Rudy, posted up out front, trying to get inside to Kramer, taken down. And there's a trip call on Milwaukee. That's the first foul on the wave. Comes with 7.31 to play in the first quarter. Just outside the left corner of the box. Paxos with a shot that's wide. Rudy has the rebound outside. Can't get the shot out of the point. It comes to Magic. Celestin moves left to right across the floor. Feeds in the right point to Paxos. Now left side to Tima. Delinsky with him. And Timmy backs it up. Midfield for Celestin. The pass is behind him. And Lee Rogers comes the other way for Milwaukee. Inside Paxos. Shot saved by Namofsky. And a long lead. Middle of the floor. Rudy couldn't control. And Knezic has it for Milwaukee, and now John Delinsky up the right side of the floor. J.D. picked up by Tima, crosses out front for Rogers, and his shot wide. The follow comes out behind everybody, and Kramer on the counterattack for Canton. Here come the Invaders, three on two. Kramer with Magic to his right. He feeds Magic in the corner on Sunderland. Outside, and Sunderland forces him to back it up. Condrich on the point. Tomo looks inside, and he feeds Kramer on the left. Kramer and Rogers fight for it. Artie lost the ball. And coming the other way, Padilla dumps it ahead for John Delinsky. J.D. and Pikazinski in the race ahead to leave Jeff Rogers. Rogers with Condridge. They take it down in the right corner in the Invader defensive end. Now on the point to Bennett. Pisano knocks it away, and Condridge clears ahead to Pikazinski. Pikazinski with Kia. Kia right side for Rudy on the give-and-go feed inside Padilla. It was too far. He had to chase it down in the corner. Rudy back to the net, and he's held by Padilla. That's the second foul on Milwaukee, 6-14 in the period. And while that break, the Invaders will get the line change completed as uh, Rudy steps out and Scarelli will come on. Back out of the red line, it comes to Pisano on the right side to Scarelli. Scarelli moves in, wants Kia posted up. Sunderland hit the ball, and it bounces off his shoulder, and Sunderland comes up the floor for Milwaukee. Sunderland backs it up at the Milwaukee red line for Oscar Padilla, 5.56 to go in the first quarter. And the lead ball comes down for George Pastor. Pastor working on Pisano. Oscar with a deflection ahead to Scarelli. Lesh picked up by Rogers. The left side feed comes to Donnie Tobin. Tobin across midfield. Padilla waits for him at the red line ahead for Lesh, but the ball is picked away by the goalkeeper Pierce. Long outlet, and Pisano knocked that ball away from Pastor. Pisano with two Milwaukee players around him, and Pastor comes away with the ball. Condrich back on D. Tobin with a deflection. Jeff Rogers with a shot. No, Bennett shot wide to the left. And Jeff Rogers with a rebound. Kia against the boards. Can't get it away from him. Rogers' feet intercepted by Pisano. Bennett over to help out. Bennett called for holding. And 
Pisano's going to get two minutes. Bennett threw a punch. Pisano retaliated. And did they get Bennett, too? Yeah, both penalty. Or did they get? I guess they didn't get Bennett. You got to be kidding. They didn't get Louis Bennett. And they've given Pisano a yellow card. And Oscar sits down. John Delinsky saying something to Bennett. I think J.D.'s telling Bennett to cool it. Milwaukee's very lucky that Bennett is not in the penalty box. Bennett, and I've said it before, may be the dirtiest player in the league, and he gets away with it most of the time. Time of the penalty, 9.43. As Pisano gets two, Milwaukee on the power play this year, 31 of 91. Is that? That's 34%. The Invader penalty killers, 25 goals allowed in 88 attempts for 72%. So Milwaukee goes on the power play with 517 left in the first quarter, and Steve Moyers is back on the floor. How about that? I wouldn't have bet on that a few minutes ago. Steve Moyers, who was down uh, in quite a while in front of the Invader net, back on the floor and playing on the Milwaukee power play. Namofsky with the ball in the net. The foul was on Milwaukee, but then uh, the penalty on Pisano after that. Ken Lola with Steve Frick and uh, Tom Kondrich and Tim Tima to kill the penalty. Delinsky with the ball in the Milwaukee zone. A minute 43 left to go on the penalty as Pastor comes out, right side to Jeff Rogers, and now back to George Pastor. Pastor across the Invader red line. Delinsky winds and fires. No. Rebound comes all the way out to the red line to Jeff Rogers. Rogers to Pastor. Pastor backs away from Frick. Now Rogers, he wants the shot, partially deflected by Kondrich, and Tima steers it in for Namofsky, and there's a fourth foul on Milwaukee. That one goes against Knezic. 4.37 in the quarter, a minute 20 in the penalty. And Namofsky with the ball in the goal box. Billy, long lead for Steve Frick. Frick heads it over for Kenny Lola. Lola trying to dribble around Rogers, gets it back to Frick. In the Milwaukee zone, the Invaders shorthanded, but attacking in the Milwaukee end. Frick around a double team to Lola, back to Frick. Frick ridden into the boards by Rogers, and there's the fifth foul on Milwaukee. With a minute two to go. And one time, the Invaders had four fouls. Milwaukee had none. Now Canton has four. Milwaukee has five. Frick to put it in play, shorthanded. Lola, ball knocked away by Delinsky. And J.D. controls back in the goal box for Pierce. 56 seconds left in the penalty, ahead to Pastor. Pastor across the midfield line. Ahead it comes to Knezic. Knezic trying to get around Lola. Shot blocked out of play by Tima. 45 seconds in the penalty, 4.02 in the quarter. Milwaukee will put it in play, touchline left side. Knezic. Drops it back for J.D. Delinsky, a couple of steps inside the red line in the corner for Knezic. Knezic back out to Delinsky, 38 in the penalty. Right side for Rogers. Shot off the post. No. Rebound comes back out on the point to Delinsky, 32 seconds. J.D. to the middle of the floor. Shot blocked by Frick and Pastor with it. Pastor feeds right side to Delinsky. J.D. on the side. Nobody there for Milwaukee, and Kondrich comes away with it. Kondrich and Moyers fight for it. And Tomo clears it down to the Milwaukee and Pierce out of the net. Clears around, and with 13 seconds in the penalty, Pastor comes the other way. Ball knocked away from behind by Frick. Pastor took a dive and got the call. Fifth foul on the Invaders. Pastor wasn't touched, but fell down and, of course, got the call. Eight seconds in the period. In the penalty, rather. Delinsky to Rogers. Rogers fires, and that's out of play. And the ensuing goal kick should enable Canton to kill the penalty because there's only two seconds left in it. And we'll have to see uh, what kind of uh, merry misadventures Mr. Bennett finds waiting for him when he comes back on the floor. Louis Bennett was very lucky that he didn't get tossed in the box there. Louis Bennett was very lucky he didn't get red carded because he threw a punch at Pisano, and he is very, very lucky that he didn't get red carded. Penalty is over. Pisano back out on the floor, and he comes right to the invader bench, and Pikasinski comes in. 
Magic Celestin brings it up, drops it back at midfield for Tima. Tima forward for the for Rudy. Pikasinski back off the sideboards for Tima. The scoreless first period. 2.59 to play. Paxos up against the right sideboards, working on Jeff Rogers. Clears it over for Celestin. Celestin knocks it away from Bennett back to Tima. 2.48 to play. Tima in the midfield circle. Ahead for Pikasinski. It's behind him. And Pierce out of the net. Tried to knock it off the boards, and it bounced off, off the boards and out of play. Canton will put it in with 2.41 to play in the period. Trainer has been checking with Moyers whenever he comes off the field. Second and third quarters are contest quarters tonight, by the way. Pierce with the ball in the net, comes out. Bennett, left side, and he is now the guy getting the brunt of the booze from the Invader fans. His pass blocked by Pikasinski, but it sails out of play. And that'll be a goal kick for Milwaukee with 2.27 to go in the first quarter. We're still scoreless. Nobody has really had a whole lot of scoring opportunities in this game. And it shows on the scoreboard, zip, zip. Each team with five fouls now, so the next foul on anybody will put another penalty down on the field. Pierce taps the, will tap the ball out to Alioto. He does. Alioto back of the box for Pierce. Pierce outlet right side midfield for Delinsky. Lost it off the boards. Got it around Tima, but knocked it right to Celestin. Magic the other way for the invaders to Pikasinski. Rudy, good hustle by Moyers to knock it away, but Paxos gets it back. Clears in the goal box for Delinsky. Outlet red line left side for Tim Tima. 2.06 in the quarter. Tima ahead for Kramer. Kramer working on Knezic. Back out. It's behind Tima, but Paxos knocked it, and it's knocked off the foot of Moyers. J.D. couldn't control, and here's Kramer with a shot just wide to the left. Out comes the rebound to Celestin. Celestin double teamed, and Moyers controls for Milwaukee. Magic on him on D. Pikasinski to the double team, trying to get inside Lee Rogers, knocked away. Lee Rogers has a problem, dumps it back in the goal box for Pierce. Ahead to Knezic, minute 37 in the quarter. Knezic working on Celestin, and Knezic backs it up in the Milwaukee zone. Peter sends the outlet to Alioto. Alioto at midfield, up the right side, across the red line. Pikasinski with him. Ball deflects in the box. Namoski can't control. J.D. out front, shot wide by Moyers. And the referee had the ball hit him at the Invaders' control. Kramer ahead to Celestin, minute 12 in the period. Celestin ahead for Kramer. Kramer loose, and the shot blocked by Pierce. And he was outside the box. That should be two minutes. And it will be, either for the sixth foul or for the handball. And it's going to be the sixth foul. So the Invaders will go on the power play. Time of the penalty, 13.53. First power play for Canton, 41% on the year, 38 of 92. The Milwaukee penalty killers have been abysmal. 31 of 68, 54%. So almost half the time they go shorthanded, they give up a goal. And that isn't good in anybody's book. Invader power play unit on the floor. Outside Schlotthauer winds and fires. It's deflected by Rogers. Kia to Pikasinski out front. And it's uh, saved by Pierce up against the post of the net. Minute 48 in the penalty. Now 54 seconds in the quarter. And Pierce's outlet will bounce down in the invader zone where Pisano dumps it in the box for Namoski. The penalty will last longer than the quarter if they don't score. 42 seconds in the quarter. Here comes Tobin across midfield, across the red line, right side to Pisano. Oscar looks inside, and the left side to Schlotthauer. He fires. It's knocked away by Sunderland out of play. Invaders will put it in play. Touchline left just inside the Milwaukee red line. 31 seconds to go in the first quarter. No score. Tobin, red line, couple of steps in. Left side to Schlotthauer, right back to Tobin. 24 seconds, Schlotthauer on the left and back again to Toby. Now on the right side to Pisano. Oscar looks in. 16 seconds. Pisano 
across the floor. Schlothauer fires. Rudy tried the deflection. Sunderland blocked it. Padilla tried to clear, but Tobin got it over to Pisano. Eight seconds in the quarter. He fires out of play. Six seconds in the period. Milwaukee will have a goal kick, and that should burn up the remaining time in the first quarter. No score. A minute left in the penalty. The invaders would have 54 seconds of man advantage into the second period, and they control the kickoff at the start of the quarter. And Milwaukee will just run the clock out. 3-2-1, and the first quarter expires. No score after one. The invaders in the Milwaukee wave. We come back in 60 seconds. Of Stowe, our contestant, in quarter number two here as we look for the invaders to get a goal on the board. And I'm sure James wouldn't be upset at all if they did it during his power play in the first uh, minute or so of the quarter. Invader power play unit, Rudy Pikasinski, Kia, Don Tobin, Oscar Pisano, and Walt Schlonauer. And the Milwaukee penalty killers are Sunderland, Jeff and Lee Rogers, and Oscar Padilla. Second quarter about to get underway. The Invaders on the power play here. And to see if they can take advantage of what has been a weakness on this Milwaukee team, their penalty killing. That is by far the worst penalty killing figure in the league. And we'll see if the Invaders can take advantage of it. Kia. Drops it back for Don Tobin, and we go on the attack. Pisano, right side at the red line. And now to Tobin, middle of the floor. Toby, back to Pisano. He winds, he fires. It's blocked up in the air and out of play by Lee Rogers. And the Invaders will have a corner kick from the left side with 42 seconds left in the penalty. And 14.48 showing on the clock in the first half. No score here. We have just started the second quarter. Schlothauer with a shot, and that is up and out of play, and they may have fun finding that one in the back of the stage. That'll be a goal kick for Milwaukee with 40 seconds left in the penalty. Pierce will put the ball in play for Milwaukee. The kick is too far, three line violation. Milwaukee will put it in play. Okay, I know what happened. He played the one. Okay. Kia dumps it out to Pisano. Pisano moving to the middle to pick Kaczynski out front. Ball taken away by Jeff Rogers, knocked back, and Schlothauer clears to Tobin. 24 seconds in the penalty. Toby winds, fires, and scores! Now that deflected off somebody. It was either Rudy or Padilla. Power play goal for Ken. Let's see, did Rudy deflect that? Or did Padilla? I think it bounced off Padilla, and Tobin will get the goal. That makes a winner out of our contestant here in the second quarter, James Yelanchik of Stowe. You got the tickets, you got the dinner certificate, and you got the coffee mug from United Bank. Time of the Don Tobin goal is 32 seconds of the second quarter. Schlonhauer gets the assist on the Tobin goal. Goal number 14 for Tobin. And for Schlonhauer, it's his eighth assist of the season. The Invaders lead 1-0. Lee Rogers with the ball for Milwaukee. Back to Delinsky. J.D. lost his balance. Taken away by Kondrich ahead. Scarelli, three on two break. Kondrich up the left side. He winds. He fires. No. Rebound swept away by Knezic. And Delinsky and Scarelli fight for it along the boards. And Scarelli gets whistled for holding. That's the first foul of the second quarter. And it's dropped back for Moyers. But the ball knocked away now. And Scarelli has it, and now Tom Condridge. Oscar Pisano with the ball at the invader end, and now Don Tobin. Tobin, right side. How about this? Midway through the second quarter, Toledo leads Tampa Bay two to nothing. 
Pisano out front to Kia. Back outside Scarelli. And now on the left side it comes to Pisano. Pisano working inside on Alioto. Double teamed by Moyers. Oscar goes down. Tries to scissor the ball. Alioto clears away. Collides with Scarelli. But Knezic comes away with the ball for Milwaukee. And now on the left side of the floor. It's cleared out for, Mo for Moyers. Moyers at midfield. Lost the ball. Scarelli couldn't get it. Kia couldn't get it. Neither could Delinsky. Moyers finally dumps it back in the goal box for Tony Pierce. And now Alioto. And this is Steve Moyers against Scarelli. Right side at the Milwaukee red line. Back in the goal box for Pierce. 12.47 in the period. 1-0 invaders. Moyers. Right side at the Milwaukee red line. Comes up midfield. Airborne for Delinsky. J.D. in the right corner in the can. Then back to the net on Pisano. Moyers with a shot wide. And the follow by Lee Rogers. He never got the shot away outside Alioto. That's blocked out of play by Scarelli. And that'll be a corner kick for Milwaukee with 12.28 to go in the first half. Toledo 2, Tampa Bay nothing in the second quarter. So the Toledo Pride showing some signs of life up to the north of us there. Pastor will be the trigger man for Milwaukee from the spot on the right side. Pastor outside Padilla with a weak shot wide to the left. Paxos tries to clear around Bennett. Bennett gets it back. And outside to Sunderland. Sunderland midfield for Pastor. Pastor on Celestin. Back outside to Sunderland. On the right side it goes. And Rogers had it knocked away. And Kramer controls for Canton to Pikasinski. Now Tima. Tima left side at midfield to Mike Paxos. Paxos for Kramer. Kramer midfield circle for the Magic Man. Celestin working on Bennett. Dishes back for Paxos. Paxos ahead for Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside Sunderland. Drops it out of the point to Celestin. Celestin takes Bennett down in the corner. Wall feed is picked away by Pierce. And Pierce with the outlet for Pastor, right side at midfield. Paxos back on D with him. And pa Pastor in the invader zone, middle of the floor. Bennett got nailed by somebody out front. And appropriately enough, there was no call. Bennett had that one coming to him. Namofsky pushes the outlet. I think Celestin was the guy that sent Bennett spinning to the floor. Magic had kind of a smile on his face as he came away from that. Celestin ahead for Pikasinski. He shoots. There's a save. Kramer with a rebound. Lost the ball. Headed away by Pierce. And late Jeff Rogers has it. Celestin on him with a deflection. Kramer to double team. Intercepted by Pikasinski. Celestin left side. He fires. No. It hit Kramer in the chest and was controlled by Tony Pierce. 11.02 to go in the first half. And Baders lead 1-0. You can tell by the crowd reaction who's got the ball. Louis Bennett ahead to Jeff Rogers. Rogers on Paxos. And he gets inside Paxos. Wall feed. Knocked loose out front. Pikasinski clears. And the ball knocked away by Paxos. Padilla gets it back. But Kramer took it away. And in the goal box for Tima. Ahead to Celestin. 10.40 in the period. Magic on the run. Up the left side for Tima. Tima around Sunderland. Sunderland knocked the ball away. And Sunderland clears up the right side for Milwaukee. Picked up by Magic. Sunderland sliding play by Kramer to take it away, but he got the two-minute trip call. He didn't get the two-minute call, but he got the foul. Second foul on the Invaders. Sunderland went down, but the fans here don't like the call. It was borderline. It looked from here like he got all ball, but it was hard to tell. 10.28 to play. Pastor does not put it in play. Leaves it for Bennett. Bennett clears to Alioto. Alioto had to wait for Bennett to get out of the way. He was going to the Milwaukee bench. He dumped it down in the invader zone. Namofsky shovels it ahead for Celestin. Magic will go to the invader benches. Canton will change lines now. Don Tobin has the ball at the back edge of the midfield circle. 10.09 to play in the first half. The invaders lead 1-0 and in the Don Tobin goal. And the Walt Schlothauer assist on the power play. 32 seconds into the second period. Tom, Tom Condrich in the midfield circle. Right side for Pisano, back to Kondrich, and now Namofsky out in front of the arc in the invader zone. 9.50 in the quarter. Namofsky outside the red line, close to the midfield circle now. And now in the midfield circle, Namofsky sends it for Kia in the right corner. Kia gets a hit on it, got inside Alioto, balls up in the air. Kia looks to center to Tobin, he shoots at the post! Rebound knocked away by Delinsky and cleared by Alioto. 
Here comes Pisano. Left side for Scarelli in the point, working inside of Knezic. Ball knocked away, but Scarelli got inside, lost his balance. Alioto, Knezic can't clear. And now he dumps it in the goal box for Pierce. Long lead, and that's way too far for Steve Moyers. And Namoski waits for it in the invader end ahead to Pisano. 9.03 to play, and Don Tobin in the midfield circle for the invaders. The long-haired lad from Liverpool across the red line. Scarelli right side for Condrich. Condrich across the floor. It's behind Pisano. And Moyers on the run after that for Milwaukee, but Namoski able to clear it to Oscar. Oscar, working on Lee Rogers, backs up for a second. Now Oscar writes himself and comes the other way. 8.40 to go in the first half. Pisano ahead for Donnie Tobin. Tobin working on Delinsky. Kia down in the right corner. Tobin looks for him. Now Kia cuts through the box. J.D. deflects. Tobin won't pass. Kia headed. Knocked out of play by Ali Odo. Kia had a golden opportunity there. Pierce was hung out to dry, and Ali Odo got there just in the nick of time to block that. And the Invaders will kick it in from the right corner. Don Tobin, the trigger man on the set play for Canton. Toby. Scarelli cuts through the box. Outside, Pisano shot blocked by Alioto and cleared away by Moyers. But Condrich gets it back inside Knezic around the boards. Lee Rogers with a deflection. And coming the other way is Moyers and now Knezic. Knezic with Condrich and Kia knocked it away from behind. Good play by Kia on defense, hustling back. Ahead, Tobin. Now Kia left side at midfield. Scarelli middle of the floor. Scarelli works inside of Lee Rogers, but the ball picked away in the double team by Alioto. Tobin got it back. Scarelli in the corner, working on Delinsky. Scarelli turns away from the net, back outside to Tobin. 7.58 in the half. Toby looking inside on Alioto. Alioto takes him in the corner and pushes off, and that's the first foul on Milwaukee in the second period. Tobin outside. Scarelli shoots. Good save by Pierce. As Lesh had some mustard behind that one. Kia after the rebound outside of midfield. It comes to Condrich. Now Tobin. Toby has the only goal of the game. Backs it up for Condrich. And Condrich at midfield. The Invaders will change lines now. Clock winding down. 7.35 to play in the first half. It's 1-0 Invaders. Tim Tima at midfield. Waiting for the rest of his primo line buddies to get on the floor. Magic Celeste in midfield circle. Invaders resume the attack. Left side for Tima. He winds. He fires. Pierce with a save. Delinsky had it knocked away by Rudy, and Celestin gets it back at midfield. Magic man. Left point area to Tim Tima. Tima for Pikasinski. And Rudy back to Celestin again. And Celestin at midfield. Backs it up to Namofsky at the red line. 7.04 to go in the half. Billy airborne right side of the floor for Kramer. Ball headed away. And coming up the floor with it for Milwaukee is Knezic. Knezic spins to let Kramer clear by, and Lee Rogers has it on the right side at midfield. Rogers for Delinsky, J.D. at the Canton red line. Timo on him. That's an interesting matchup because those two guys are very good friends off the floor. And it's uh, Moyers. Moyers with a shot, hit the crossbar. And it comes out for Lee Rogers. Celestin on him. Magic lost his balance for a second. Rogers picked up by Rudy. And back to Sunderland at midfield, and now Padilla. And you got a holding call in the box, and it goes against one of the invaders, either Timo or Paxos. That's the third foul on Canton. Moyers will put it in play from the spot right on the arc. Moyers shot blocked by Kramer, and Sunderland gets it back at midfield. Now Padilla, left point to Delinsky, 6.24 and a half. J.D. working against Paxos. Fires wide to the right. Celestin and Rogers, Lee Rogers in a race, and Magic wins that in the corner and dumps in the box for Billy. Short outlet straight ahead to Tima. Timmy across the red line ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy, ball knocked away by Padilla, and Jeff Rogers has it for Milwaukee. And now Louis Bennett. Bennett on the right side, looking for some help. Nothing there. Magic with him. Bennett clears for Pastor. Pastor with Paxos. Ball deflected by Celestin. Pastor able to get it back to Padilla. 552 and a half. Padilla working on Pikasinski. Rudy with a deflection, and Kramer has it for the invaders. Magic clears to the left. He's got Rudy the trailer. And Kramer fires wide. Oh, he had something on that as Pierce wasn't expecting that shot to come from Art Kramer. Just wide to the right. Up the floor with it is Pastor. Ahead for Jeff Rogers. Tima hustles back on D. And Rogers backs it up to Pastor. Mike Paxos on him. And the midfield area, it comes to Sunderland. 5.25 to play in the first quarter. Sunderland, long lead. That's too far for Rogers. And Tima will try to clear. Can't do it. Timmy has to go the other way with it. Now backs it up away from Rogers. Ahead for Celestin. Celestin, the primo boys on the break, but Pastor with a deflection. And Padilla controls. 
for Milwaukee. His lead ball for Pastor is too far, and Paxos got that. Dumps it around the boards, and Namoski can't control that because Pastor was there too quickly, but he gets it out to Paxos. Paxos' pass is intercepted by Pastor, and Milwaukee resumes the attack, but Pikasinski with a deflection from behind, and Celestin comes the other way for Canton. 449 in the quarter. Line change for the Invaders. Scarelli off the bench. He's got the ball. Now back to Don Tobin. Back edge of the midfield circle. Pisano and Condridge on defense. And Kia roams around in front of the Milwaukee net. Sunderland on defense against Scarelli. Left side at midfield for Condridge. Four and a half minutes to go in the first half. The Invaders lead one to nothing. Oscar long lead for Tobin. And it's up in the air out in front of the net. And Sunderland controls for Milwaukee. And back in the goal box for Tony Pierce. Pierce is sweating a few bullets on that one. Long lead. It's too far for Jeff Rogers. And Kia dumps it back in the goal box for Bill Namofsky. Long lead the other way for Scarelli. Scarelli trying to get inside Padilla. And Padilla decks him. Obstruction call. And Lesh saying he wanted two. And I can't believe he didn't get to because Padilla took it both hands out and pushed him. Second foul on Milwaukee. 4.07 to play in the period. Of course, I guess if Louis Bennett could throw a punch and doesn't get anything at all called, we're lucky to get a foul out of that. Here comes Condridge up the right side, working on Bennett. Got inside Bennett on the right side. Centering ball. Kia couldn't get the shot away, and Pierce controls. Boy, there was an opportunity on that one. Long lead midfield. They want Lee Rogers. Rogers double team. Gets it in the midfield circle to Knezic. Tobin on him. Knezic backs it up to the Milwaukee red line. And in the goal box for Pierce. Pierce. Uh, headed comes to Lee Rogers, and now Knezic on the right side, this time picked up by Scarelli. Midfield, it comes for Moyers. Moyers working on Kondrich. Lead ball, Delinsky, and he couldn't get the shot away as he had to control, and now he does get it, but it's blocked by Kondrich. Knezic up against the right sideboard. Scarelli knocks it away, taken back by Delinsky. And now Tim Aliotto on the left point for Milwaukee. Wall feed for Moyers. Moyers, shot scores! Beautiful shot by Steve Moyers from an almost impossible angle, and he found the right corner of the net. His fifth goal for Milwaukee, and overall he now has 15 goals on the year, 10 of them coming with the Invaders. The time of this goal, 11.41. And Aliotto will get the assist, and Milwaukee has tied the game up at 1-1 with 3.19 to go in the first half. And that was an outstanding shot by Steve Moyers. Very difficult angle, and he was able to find the right corner of the net, and there wasn't a whole lot Namoski could have done about that one. Scarelli got around Padilla, but the ball was deflected by Pastor. Now Padilla with the ball, and he gets it ahead for Jeff Rogers. Milwaukee on the attack. Rogers right side. Bennett shoots. Good save by Namoski to knock that one clear. Sunderland has it at midfield for Milwaukee. Larry Sunderland ahead for Pastor, and he tried to get it back for Rogers. Was behind him. Sunderland controls for Milwaukee. Got inside the double team. Inside another good save by Namofsky to go to his left. Bennett in the corner. Knocks it out on the right point to Passer. In midfield, it comes to Padilla. Padilla, airborne. Bennett header. Centering ball. Rogers couldn't get the shot away. And Namofsky did a good job to get that. He got a piece of the ball to prevent Rogers from getting the shot. Outlet the red line on the left side to Don Tobin at midfield. Line change for the Invaders. Celeste now on the floor with the ball for Canton. Tied at 1-1 with 2.21 to play in the first half. Tim Tima with the ball in the midfield circle. Ahead for Artie Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside of Padilla. Can't do it. Padilla clears in the box for Pierce. Pierce outlet on the right side to Knezic. Peter Knezic. Red line for Milwaukee. Ahead for uh, Moyers, but that's knocked away by Namoski. Celestin for Pikasinski, knocked away by John Delinsky, and Moyers has it back. Moyers, J.D., shot over the glass and out of play. And it'll be a goal kick, Canton, with 1.57 to go in the first half, and the game is tied at 1-1. Namoski to put it in play for the Invaders. Out, set outside the box for Tima, and he'll push it ahead for Celestin. And Tima. Timmy, midfield circle. Looks, looks ahead. The ball for Kramer is intercepted by Delinsky, and Milwaukee attacks three on three. Moyers up the left side, trying to work on Tima. Timmy with a good deflection, and Paxos dumped it in the box for Namoski ahead to Kramer. Headed away by Knezic. And Knezic uh, can't get away from Celestin, but they get it to Lee Rogers. And now Alioto, and now John Delinsky. 
J.D., left side midfield, a hit for Moyers. Paxo stepped in front and knocked it away. Here comes Kramer on the counter for Canton. 122 to play in the first half, and the game is tied 1-1. The Invaders continue to have offensive problems. They've had several opportunities in this period to only put one away. They could have three or four by now. Tim Tima, right side at midfield. Tima ahead for Kramer, and it's a little too far for him. Artie couldn't get a piece of it, and Pierce controls in the box. Outlet Delinsky. Delinsky, spin move to get inside Tima up the left side of the floor. And J.D. takes it down in the corner in the Canton zone. Timmy fronts him. Timmy blocked the feed, and it rolls in the goal box for Namoski. 48 seconds to go in the first half. Namoski, long lead for Pikasinski. Rudy trying to work on Knezic. Knezic deflects. Lee Rogers dumps it back in the Milwaukee zone. And it rolls into the goal box where Tony Pierce has it now. 35 seconds to go. And Pierce still in the box with it. Pierce ahead for Knezic. Knezic. And the lead ball for Bennett taken away by Paxos. 21 seconds. Paxos for Kramer. Pierce is out of the net. Pikasinski couldn't get the shot as Knezic deflects. Centering ball for Paxos. Inside Bennett. Ball knocked away by Bennett. And you got a trip call coming up on the goalkeeper, Tony Pierce. That's going to be two minutes on the goalkeeper. Milwaukee's trainer better watch himself. He had a water bottle that he was using to squirt at Tim Tima. When Tima came by, two-minute penalty coming up on Pierce for tripping. The Invaders will go on the power play. There are only 12 seconds to go in the first half. Time of the penalty, 14.48. Delinsky uh, having something, some, yelling something up at the box, I think up at Steve Paxos, or maybe about the music. It's going to be a penalty kick. Don Tobin, penalty kick goal. He shoots. He scores! <laughs> and so kill off the penalty. The Invaders lead 2-1 on the penalty kick goal by Don Tobin. At 14-49, 2-1 Invaders off the trip call on Tony Pierce, the goalkeeper. And Tobin rams home the penalty kick. He has never missed one of those in his career as an Invader. And the Invaders lead 2-1. Now only 11 seconds to go in the period. Halftime guest, Jamie Swanner, the most valuable player in the AISA Northern Division All-Star team. Six seconds in the period, Sunderland has the ball at the Milwaukee red line. Lead for Bennett, and Paxos will clear, and that's the end of the quarter. At halftime, the Canton Raiders lead the Milwaukee Wave 2-1.
up front. So the same uh, dozen guys who started the game will be on the floor at the start of the second half. Invaders lead 2-1. Don Tobin with both Canton goals. He's now got 15 goals on the year to go with 19 assists. Toby, the MVP in the AISA last year when he led the league in assists. Right now, the team leader in assists is Kia with 23, and Oscar Fasano is next with 22. Rudy Pikasinski has 21, and Rudy has a goal or two. Oh, 43 of them he has, yeah, to go with all those assists. Is Rudy Pikasinski having a year or what? Very good year. Excellent Very year for Pikasinski. Two to one is our score. The Invaders with the lead going into the third quarter. Rogers puts the ball in play to Pastor. And now Padilla midfield to Bennett. Bennett drops it back. And in the box it comes. Pierce had it knocked away by Scarelli. Key in a race in the corner with Sunderland. Sunderland wants to clear. And he dumps it in the box to Padilla. Padilla comes out for Milwaukee across the midfield circle. Ahead for Sunderland. Sunderland feeds and Domofsky couldn't get it, but Kia clears it out for Scarelli. Scarelli, red line on the right side. It comes left side, rather, to Tom Condridge. And Tomo out to the midfield area on the right side to Les Scarelli. Scarelli moves inside, picked up by Sunderland. Scarelli in the corner, and he gets inside again. Ball knocked away by Padilla, and Sunderland comes away for Milwaukee. 14-17 to go in the second quarter, in the third quarter. Here comes Bennett. Bennett picked up by Tobin. Bennett, the fan favorite here. Ball knocked away by Tobin. Bennett may replace Keith Poser as the fan favorite here for the visiting teams. Here comes uh, Scarelli. Now Kia. Kia right side. Ball knocked away by Bennett, but Kia got it back. Outside it comes for Kondrich, and now Kia. Kia on the right point. Kia turns, faces the net at the red line, matched up with Louis Bennett. A couple of little quick guys there. That's an interesting matchup on D. Scarelli drops it back to midfield to Pisano back to Lesh one touch back to Oscar Oscar two Oscars Oscar Pisano and Oscar Padilla working on one another there and now Tobin on the left side at midfield to Scarelli 13 32 to go in the third quarter Scarelli lead ball for Pisano tried to head it in the box knocked away by Padilla Padilla and Pisano fight along the boards and Padilla has position and Kia took the ball away on the side to Pisano he shoots he's oh just wide deflected to the left and Tobin takes Sunderland down, and that's going to be the first foul on the Invaders as Toby had a hold of Sunderland and used the right arm to pull him down. 13-15 to go in the quarter, and we've had no scoring. Still looking for a goal for Nicholas Basil of Canton. The ball in the box, and uh, Pierce thought about the short outlet, instead dumped it long to Lee Rogers on the left side at midfield. Ahead for Delinsky, J.D. in the Canton zone. Wants the feed for... Moyers, but it's picked off by Namofsky ahead to Tobin at midfield. Toby on the left side, moves into the Milwaukee zone, picked up there by Alioto. Toby winds, fires, Alioto blocked it, and Alioto clears it in the goal box for Pierce. Outlet comes to Lee Rogers. Rogers with Pisano outside the red line, up the floor for Knezic. Knezic up the right side, picked up by Kondrich, and Knezic comes outside to Moyers. Moyers shot and the save by Namofsky. Moyers didn't get all of that. Kia with the ball and knocked away. Knezic, Lee Rogers at midfield. Delinsky lets it go for Alioto. Alioto sends it forward for Moyers. Moyers back to the net on Kondrich. Kia the double team. The pass knocked away by Tobin. And Kia got around Knezic over to Les Scarelli. And Les will bring the ball up for the invaders through the midfield circle. Ahead for Tobin on the right side. Line change in progress. Pikasinski is on the floor. And Tobin is dragged down by Moyers. And that's the first foul on the wave. 12.02 to play in the third quarter. Rudy drops it back at midfield for Mike Paxos. And now it's Magic Celestin off the invader bench ahead for Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside the ball, deflected by Knezic, but Pikasinski in the corner. Lead ball behind Kramer. Delinsky will try to clear for Milwaukee. And he dumps it out to midfield. Paxos chases that down. And Milwaukee will just wait back on D, and the invaders will resume the attack with 11.39 to go in the third quarter. Magic Celestin, midfield circle, now on the right side to Tim Tima. And Tima backs up. I think they want to spread the Milwaukee defense out a little. Timmy back at the red line, and they're going to wait on him. Timmy will stand there. Delinsky and Moyers are standing at the Milwaukee red line. Tima and Nomofsky are passing the ball back and forth at the Canton red line. Dean Smith would love this. And we've got 11.09 to go 
in the quarter as time continues to run. Celeste in midfield. Milwaukee refuses to come out on D. Magic at midfield at a walk. Back to Tima in the midfield circle, and now they'll come a little closer. Now Timmy's still at midfield. Now the red line to Paxos. They head to Pikasinski. And down in the corner, Pikasinski and Alioto fight for it there. And Rudy comes away with the ball, but it's knocked away by Lee Rogers. And Namoski takes it back in the invader zone. Right side midfield to Tim Tima. And Milwaukee backing up, packing it in their own end on D. Magic Celestin outside the red line. Wants Rudy in the corner. Rudy right side on Alioto. Back to the net. Outside of the right point to Tim Tima. Tima picked up by Delinsky. And it's Pikasinski on the right side. And the ball knocked away. And Tim Tima sends it down in the corner. Kramer, ball knocked out by Knezic. That almost took the referee's head off. And Delinsky clears ahead on the run. Lee Rogers with Tima. And Lee Rogers up against the boards in the Canton zone. Back through the middle of the floor. Red line to Moyers. Back in the midfield area to Alioto. End of the first quarter. Louisville and Chicago are scoreless. The ball is knocked out of play by Alioto into section 15. And the Invaders will put it in play. Touchline right side at midfield with 10-01 to play in the third period. Canton holding on to a 2-1 lead. If the Invaders get the next goal, I got to believe Milwaukee is going to have to come out of this uh, conservative defense that they're in because they're playing not to give up the next goal, and they're not putting a whole lot of pressure on right now. They're backed up right just outside their own red line a couple of feet. Celestin, right side at midfield, comes in on Pastor, dumps it around the boards, and Padilla's got it there for Milwaukee. Padilla back in the goal box for Tony Pierce. Pierce looks up the floor, outlet left side Padilla, Pikasinski with him, and Padilla forced to retreat back in the goal box again, and he can't pick that up. Outlet comes out to Sunderland, Kramer picked it away and knocks it over to Celestin. Celestin looking for the feed, and he shoots, and a good save by Pierce, just able to stick that right hand out. He thought he was going to feed the ball to Kramer, and he was sliding that way, and they shot it in the backside, and he was just able to get the right hand out and make the save. Pikasinski, magic man, Bennett with a header, Rudy got it back, knocked away by Padilla, and Celestin took it away from Jeff Rogers. Magic on the left side, and that ball is taken away by Pastor, but knocked away by Tima to Paxos. Paxos around one, he shoots, blocked out front, that hit Pikasinski, Paxos with a follow, that one was knocked away by Bennett, and Paxos up against the boards, and the obstruction call goes against Mike as he and uh, Jeff Rogers collided. 9.03 to play in the period. And still 2-1. Bennett dumps it ahead for Pastor midfield. Now Louis Bennett, front edge of the midfield circle. Pass hit Tima in the heel, but Bennett got it back. Bennett over to Pastor, shot wide. Rebound knocked out by Namoski and cleared down. And Celestin got taken down by Bennett. And again, no call. And again, it was a cheap shot by Louis. Here is Scarelli and Kramer in the left point in the Milwaukee defensive zone. Kramer dumps it over to Don Tobin. 8.35 to go. Tobin. John Delinsky sees him doing that. I don't think he'll put up with it because J.D. got into it with Bennett here um, a couple of years ago. J.D. actually slapped Bennett in the face during a game here uh, a couple of years ago. Tobin heels it in the corner for Pisano. Pisano muscles his way inside Bennett. Bennett takes Oscar down. No call. Oscar screaming at the official. Sliding play by Tobin to knock the ball free. And there's going to be a dangerous play in two minutes coming up on who? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oscar Pisano gets the two-minute call. Again, Louis Bennett, now Tim Tima out to let the referee know about it. This is what is so aggravating about Louis Bennett. Milwaukee will go on the power play. Time of the penalty, 6.50. Oscar gets two minutes for kicking. Padilla could have gotten a dangerous play there as he hauled off and almost nailed somebody. But it'll be a two-minute power play for Milwaukee. They are 0 for 1 on the power play tonight. The Invaders are 2 for 2. Invaders lead 2 to 1. Lola, Frick, Kondrich, and Tima in to kill off this penalty. And up the floor with it for Milwaukee comes George Pastor. Pastor forward for Knezic and now Jeff Rogers. Jeff Rogers, Pastor with a shot, that's in the stage. The Milwaukee power play unit, Delinsky, Pastor, Jeff Rogers, Knezic, and Moyers. And we told you who the Invader penalty killers are, Tima, Kondrich, Frick, and Lola. 
7.57 to go in the quarter, a minute 47 in the penalty. Tima with the ball outside the box, taps it back in for Bill Namoski. Namoski long out, let right side, and nobody there. It'll go down to the Milwaukee end. That'll chew some time up as Pastor chases it down. Minute 35 in the penalty as Pastor comes out across the Milwaukee red line. Now through the midfield circle. Picked up by Frick at the Canton red line on the left side of the point to Delinsky. Lola's out there with him. Down in the corner for Knezic. Knezic, the uh, ball centers for Moyers. Moyers had it knocked away by Lola, taken by Frick, knocked away by Delinsky. A race with Pastor, Lola and Frick there to help out. Pastor being hounded by Frick, and he's able to clear it ahead to Jeff Rogers. A minute 10 in the penalty. Rogers across midfield on the right side in the invader zone. Feeds left side. Delinsky shot through the box. Moyers on the follow. It was wide to the left. And one minute left in the penalty. John Delinsky, ball blocked by Lola, and J.D. has to flag it back at midfield. Pastor, midfield circle, a forward to the red line. Ball deflected by Kondrich, knocked outside. Rogers drops it back to Pastor, 45 in the penalty. J.D. with a shot. Namoski punches that in the corner. Tima will try to clear. And the ball up in the air and loose and taken back by Rogers. There's a shot blocked by Tima. Follow loose out front. Namoski pounces on the loose ball. 26 seconds in the penalty. Now Tima. Ahead, it's too far for Lola, but it goes beyond Jeff Rogers, too. And Pastor chases it down in the Milwaukee zone. Only 16 seconds left in the penalty, and Pastor coming out with it. Across midfield, 6.21 to go in the quarter. Pastor, invader, red line. Knezic in the corner, shot wide. Jeff Rogers looking for the follow. Six in the penalty. Back outside to Pastor. He lets it go. Namoski with a good save to bounce that in the corner. The penalty is over. Pisano back out on the floor. The ball's knocked out to midfield. Pastor working against Frick there. Bounces it around the boards. Rogers picked up by Lola. Now Knezic left side at the red line. Knezic couple of steps in on Tima. Centering ball knocked away by Pisano and a head for Steve Frick. End of the third quarter. Toledo leads Tampa Bay 3-2. Frick got around the man, lost the ball. Frick got it back over to Tobin. Tobin back to Frick. Dolinsky goes down, and that's going to be a foul on Tobin, which is a terrible call. That should have been a dangerous play on John Dolinsky as he came in and just jumped over Tobin's back. And they call it on Tobin. Third foul on the Invaders. 5.42 to play in the third quarter. And in the goal box, it is Pierce. Pierce picks it up, now puts it back down on the floor, and he'll come out with it. 5.35 in the period, clock moving. Pierce passes around Frick. The pass too far for Padilla. Kia deflects, but Sunderland controls for Milwaukee. Jim Tron has it knocked away. Frick on the breakdown. But uh, Pierce will clear, but he knocked it right to Tobin. Pierce hustles back. Tobin to Frick. Frick to Kia. The ball blocked by Sunderland out of play. That'll be a corner kick for the Invaders from the right side. 5-19 to play in the third quarter. Canton 2, Milwaukee 1. Been a scoreless period so far. Still looking for an invader goal for our contestant, Nicholas Basil. The crowd getting into it now. Jung Tron is in for the first time for Milwaukee. Tobin will put it in play from the right corner for the invaders. Corelli through the box outside. Condridge fires wide to the left. Bennett after the rebound. Bennett and Condridge go into the boards. And this foul goes against whom? Condridge, the fourth foul on the Invaders. Bennett dumps it over to Padilla. Padilla in the box for Pierce. Pierce, long lead for Tron. Ball knocked away, but Sunderland clears ahead. That should be three lines, and it is. And take it back to the Milwaukee Red Lines. Corelli will put it in play there for the Invaders. And now he gives way to Don Tobin. Tobin to Scarelli. Scarelli turns on Padilla, shoots wide. Kia scores on the rebound! <laughs> Kia parked in front looking for the rebound. He got it and he put it home. Time of the goal is 9.58 of the third period. And for Kia, he picks up his 22nd goal of the year. And Les Scarelli has assist number 12. And the Invaders lead 3-1. to one. Scarelli got the good ball off the boards to Kia, and he found the right side of the net and put it in on the rebound. The Invaders lead 3-1. to 5.02 to play in the third quarter. Moyers drops it back to Knezic for Milwaukee. The wave on the attack. 
Allie Odo, midfield to the right side, picked up by Kramer at the red line. Delinsky down in the corner, back to that on Celestin. Magic with a deflection. Allie Odo got away with a push. No, he didn't. The guy on the other side called it. The guy right on top of the play said no, and the guy on the other side of the field blew the whistle. Second foul on Milwaukee, 449 in the period, as Celestin taps the ball to Paxos, and on the left side of the Canton red line to Tim Tima. Tima for Mike Paxos, and now right side at midfield it comes to Celestin. Celestin for Pikasinski. Rudy working in the right corner on Alioto. Pikasinski back to the net, out on the point to Paxos, 432 to go. And now it's uh, Celestin. Celestin on Lee Rogers. Rogers pokes it away for a second, but Magic will back the ball up to midfield and now back to the Canton red line to Tima. 4.20 to go in the period. 3-1 Canton. Two goals by Tobin, one by Kia. Moyers has the goal for Milwaukee. Celestin blows around Lee Rogers into the left corner. Around the boards. Ball loose out front. Hexos on the rebound. Scores! They don't give it to it. I think that was it. Coming the other way is Lee Rogers for Milwaukee. They don't give him the goal. Lee Rogers to Delinsky. Paxos beats him in the corner, knocks it free for Kramer. Here they come on the counterattack. Kramer around Lee Rogers. Lee Rogers ahead, and now it's uh, Celestin. He got inside a man. Celestin winds, fires. It was blocked away. Rudy chases it down in the right corner, 340 in the period. Rudy Pikasinski, double team, got away from the double team, back outside to Paxos. He's going to let it go. It's blocked up in the air by Lee Rogers. And Steve Moyers drops it back behind Knezic. Knezic and Kramer in a race for that. Rudy to double team. And Rudy taps it out to Kramer. Kramer outside. Magic. Good save by Pierce from point blank range. Magic man out on the right side. Paxos out in front of the net. Magic through. He shoots wide to the right. Kramer with a rebound. Artie looking inside. Double team by Moyers and Alioto. Moyers deflects. Alioto controls. Kramer on him. And they dump it back in the goal box for Tony Pierce. 3.05 to go. Outlet comes on the right side to Knezic. And Pete Knezic, who's now the general manager of this team besides playing, dumps it ahead. And this is George Pastor in the Canton zone on the right side. Ball blocked by Magic and taken by Tima. Tima passes around Tron off the corner of the boards and back to Namoski. Outlet to Kia, right side at midfield. 2.44 in the period. The Invaders lead 3-1. to one. And with that goal by Kia, we made a winner out of Nicholas Basil of Canton. And he wins the tickets and the Red Bull Inn dinners and the Ohio Health Choice Plan t-shirt. So both our contestants winners tonight. 2.27 to play in the third quarter. The Invaders lead 3-1. to one. Tom Condrich with the ball. Canton red line. Back edge of the midfield circle to Don Tobin. Toby on the right side now of the circle. Sends it ahead. He wants Condrich in the right corner. Condrich working on Tron. Lost his balance and Sunderland comes the other way. Ahead to Pastor. Pastor midfield on the right side to Louis Bennett. Bennett picked up by Pisano. Boy, does Oscar look intense as he guards Louis Bennett. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> Tron at midfield. Back in the circle to Padilla. And the pass ahead for Pastor is too far. Tobin has position in the corner. Bennett wants to double team. The ball squirts free, and Pisano dumps into the box. Loose out front and cleared away by Condrich. And now Scarelli controls, and Milwaukee drops back on defense. Tobin with the ball. And he leaves it for Les Scarelli in the midfield circle. On the right side, it comes to Condrich. Minute 36 to go in the third quarter. Invaders 3, Milwaukee 1. Pisano, left side at midfield for Scarelli. Sunderland out on him. Les on the move, ahead to Kia. Kia back to Scarelli. And Scarelli will back it up at the Canton red line to Pisano. They want to spread these Milwaukee defenders out a little bit, I think, and see if they can spring somebody open. Kia and Les run a weave at the top of the box. And now Lesh out to the red line. Lesh moves to his right, backs it away from Pastor and Pisano at midfield, and Lesh at the left edge of the circle. Scarelli moves in on Sunderland, around Sunderland, down on the side, ball picked away by Bennett. Cleared ahead, it's too far for Pastor. Pisano got inside him, Tron knocked it away. Condrich got it back again for Canton, and Pisano works on Bennett. Oscar Pisano, right side at midfield. Bennett backs up a little bit, closer to the red line. 46 seconds to go in the period. Pisano approaches. Bennett comes a little closer, dumps it down in the corner. Scarelli on the right side, back to the net on Sunderland. Scarelli back outside to Pisano, 36 seconds in the quarter. Oscar Pisano looks in. And it's Bennett on him, and Oscar taking his time. 27 seconds in the quarter, and he tried to get it in the corner for Lesh, and he bounced it over the glass out of play. So Milwaukee will put it in play. Touch line left side in their own end with 26 seconds to go in the third quarter. And the Invaders on top, 3-1. to one.
25 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Tobin with two goals, Kia with one for Canton. Moyers has the Milwaukee goal. 3-2, Toledo over Tampa Bay at the end of three quarters, and after one, Louisville and Chicago are scoreless in Chicago. Alioto dumps it back in the goal box to the Milwaukee goalkeeper, Tony Pierce. Tony Pierce, one of the long lead, and there wasn't anybody open, and he puts it on the floor to Knezic. Knezic ahead, he wants Delinsky. Delinsky with Oscar, and J.D. dumps it back. Bad pass, Kia dumps it back in the goal area for Namovsky. Quick outlet for Kramer. Kramer working on Alioto. Kramer and Alioto fight along the boards, and we've got a whistle, and the foul goes against Artie, and that's going to be the fifth one on the Invaders, so they got to watch it. Now only four seconds to go, so they don't have to watch it that closely. Delinsky midfield dumps it down. That's the end of the quarter. And after three, the Invaders lead the Milwaukee Wave by a count of three to one. We come back to the Civic Center in 60 seconds. Kaczynski, Celestin, Tima, and Paxos for Canton. Moyers, Delinsky, Fleps, Knezic, and Alioto for uh, Milwaukee. Invaders dump the kickoff down the left side. And they'll re-kick it. After three, it is still Toledo three, Tampa Bay two. Celestin dumps ahead for Tima. Tima working on Moyers. Kramer with a follow. That's out of play. Tima got it to the left a little bit. It came up in front of Pierce, and Kramer's follow was into the stage. Seven seconds into the fourth quarter. Invaders lead three to one. Tony Pierce to put the ball in play for Milwaukee. Taps it out the side of the box for Alioto and back in for Pierce. He picks it up. Outlet left side. Delinsky at the Canton red line working on Celestin. Delinsky down in the corner. Spins. Moves outside. Out on the point. Alioto. Alioto with Pikasinski on him. Centering ball. The give and go feed. Knocked away by Rudy. Paxos punches it ahead. Pikasinski. Here they come. Three on two if they hurry. Lead ball for Kramer. He feeds through the box. It comes through. Fleps and Pikasinski fight. It's outside Paxos. Back to Rudy in the corner. Centers for Celestin. He shoots. Hit the post on the left side. And the rebound is controlled out by the red line by Steve Moyers. Moyers stops midfield and now moves to the center. Front edge of the circle and now Fleps at the red line. Forced Fleps left side for Knezic. Knezic inside. Centering ball score by Steve Moyers. Somebody missed an assignment. Moyers had an easy tap in on the back side. And Milwaukee has cut it down to 3-2. to two. Time of the goal, 51 seconds. Moyers, his second tally of the night. Somebody wasn't minding the store out in front, and Namofsky didn't have a whole lot that he could do about that one. For Steve Moyers, he now has uh, 16 goals on the season. And who got the assist on that? Knezic picked up the assist. And for Pete Knezic, that is his uh, 13th assist of the year. So Milwaukee has cut it down to three to two and the Invaders find themselves in a tussle again here now. One minute into the fourth quarter, Pisano working on Tron at midfield ahead to Kia. Kia dumps it over to Scarelli. Scarelli can't get away from Padilla and Tron controls there. And now Louis Bennett. Bennett ahead, it's too far for Lido Zabala who's in the game for the first time for Milwaukee. And Kondrich has the ball in the Invader end and now Don Tobin at the red line. Toby ahead to Kia. Kia at the Milwaukee red line trying to get inside Sunderland. And Sunderland will get whistled for the foul and the push. First one on Milwaukee of the period. 13.35 to go in quarter number four. The Invaders lead 3-2. to two. Don Tobin, two goals for Canton. Steve Moyers, two goals for Milwaukee. And Kia right now, his third goal for Canton, the difference. Don Tobin back in the Canton zone at the red line. Toby ahead for Condridge. Spin move to get inside of Zabala. Middle of the floor for Tobin. He wants Scarelli, but the ball was intercepted by Padilla, and he punches it ahead, and coming up the floor is Zabala. Long lead, nobody there, and uh, controlled in the invader zone by Namofsky. Outlet left side of the Canton red line to Tobin. Toby at midfield, picked up by Bennett. 13 minutes left in the game. Toby between Bennett and Tron. Ball knocked away, and a push foul against Tobin as he collided with Bennett will even the team files up at 1-1 Sunderland to Louis Bennett 
Bennett. Long lead for Zabala. Zabala in the Canton zone right corner. Pisano shields him away from the ball. And Namoski controls outlet to Kia at midfield. Kia gets away from Bennett ahead, trying to move on Sunderland. Feeds it's behind Scarelli, but Les chases it back, but Sunderland knocks it away. Sunderland picked up by Condrich, and he dumps it over to Zabala. Zabala across the red line for Milwaukee. Fresh legs for the wave. Zabala ball bounces off the boards and taken by Les Scarelli of Canton. And Zabala's going to get the trip call, and that's the second foul on Milwaukee. Here comes Pisano up the floor for Canton. Invaders lead 3-2. Pisano through the midfield circle. Ridden off the ball by Zabala and Bennett. And it's controlled by Alioto. And now Knezic right side at midfield for Milwaukee. Knezic with Pisano on him moves to the middle. Passes behind the man. The shot by Moyers is knocked off wide. Moyers and Kondrich in the corner. Magic over to help out. But it's dumped out on the left point for Delinsky. J.D. The horse flaps. Flaps wall feet. Knocked away as Kondrich had position that time on Moyers. That was similar to the play they scored the goal on. There's a knockout front, and it's knocked away. And Knezic with a follow. It's blocked by uh, Kondrich. Moyers has the ball against the boards, and Scarelli's going to get the push. And that'll even up the team fouls at two apiece. 11.43 left in the game. Canton three, Milwaukee two. Knezic, touchline right side, steps in. He launches it. Ball blocked by Kondrich. Moyers got it back. Can't get the follow. And uh, Kondrich with good D and Celestin able to take the ball away. Ahead to Pikazinski. Invaders on the break. Rudy stops at midfield on the left side. They want the line change. They get the defenders in. The Magic Celestin with the ball at midfield. Kramer and Pikazinski run down in the zone. Pikazinski right side shot. Oh, that caught uh, Pierce either in the face or the chest. And uh, Paxos has it back at midfield ahead to Celestin. Celestin inside. The ball for Rudy. Knocked away. Loose in the corner. And Pierce able to get back out of the net. Pikasinski sends it in. Caught on the fly by Tony Pierce. Outlet Delinsky. Kramer fronts him. And Delinsky up against the left side boards. And now we'll back it up through the goal box. And the outlet on the left side to Alioto. Forward for Fleps at midfield. 10.54 to play in the game. Fleps. Ball ridden away from behind. But he gets it over to Delinsky. Delinsky knocked away by Tima. And Tima ahead for Celestin. Celesta knocks it around. He burned Alioto. Here we come three on one. Pikazinski, good play by Pierce to knock that away. I think if they feed Artie on the right side, it might have been a goal. And Paxos is caught holding on Steve Moyers, and that's the third foul on the Invaders. 3,057 at the Civic Center tonight for this game. And they're seeing a good one. It's 3-2 Canton, 10.36 to go in the game. And Milwaukee will put the ball in play outside the Invader red line at the middle of the floor. Knezic, left side for John Delinsky. J.D. on the point on the Magic Celestin. Out front, Moyers. And Moyers, that ball knocked away, and here comes Pikazinski. Pikazinski ahead for Celestin. Celestin, right side at the red line. Magic, and the ball knocked away by Padilla, but Magic able to clear it back to Tima in the circle. 10-16 left in the game. Canton three, Milwaukee two. Tima will back it up to Bill Namoski. Namoski in the goal box. Uh, the Milwaukee staying on their own side of midfield right now. Now you've got Celestin on the right side. Ahead to Pikazinski, back to Magic. Padilla trying to get position. Magic goes down, tries to clear. Pikazinski deflects to Magic. Magic, ball knocked away by Delinsky. And coming the other way is Horst Fleps. Fleps with Tima back on D. Fleps on the left side. Ball deflected by Tima and chased down by Steve Moyers. Moyers right side to Sunderland on the point. 9.37 left in the game. Jung Tron with it. Tron left side on uh, Magic. And back out to Sunderland and now Padilla. Padilla comes in, approaches the red line. Celestin waits for him there. Ball knocked away by Paxos. And Paxos will come out with it. And now we'll back it up for Tim Tima. 9.17 to go. Tima for Pikazinski. Now Tima sends it forward for Tobin. And back it comes for Paxos. And again, Donnie Tobin. Left side for Tom Condrich. Invaders changing lines. Kramer right side on Sunderland at midfield. Kramer moves through the midfield circle over to Pisano. Pisano with Bennett. And ahead it comes to Kramer. Kramer inside Sunderland in the corner. Got inside him again. Looks to center. Pierce knocked it away. Pisano with a shot and a save by Pierce. And Tron comes away with it for Milwaukee. Tony Pierce outstanding steal by Kramer. And he's pushed away and no call. And Pikazinski in the corner knocks it outside. And Pisano gets it down. 
Fasano gets inside of Zabala up the side. And Oscar lost the ball. Zabala caught something in the face there. Pikasinski and Tron fight for it. And Zabala pushing off. And the call goes on Zabala. He started to signal it against Canton. That would have brought the roof down in here if, he, if that call would have stood. 8.26 left in the game. And the team fouls are now even at three apiece. Invaders will put the ball in play from inside the red line. 3-2 Invaders. 8.26 left in the game. Tobin will put it in play for Canton. And backs it up to Scarelli, who steps off the Invader bench. Key is there with him. Key has got the ball left side at midfield. Back at the Invader red line at Tobin. And he sweeps it in the arc to Nomoski. The Invader goalkeeper, Nomoski, comes out close to the red line. Zabala watches him. Billy pushes it for Tobin. Toby still inside the red line. Now Nomoski comes up the right side. Nomoski across midfield. Nomoski to the red line. Dumps it over for Pisano. Pisano, he shoots and scores! Right through the legs of Tony Pierce. Nomoski will get the assist. The Invaders lead 4-2. Time of the goal, 7.03. Oscar Pisano picks up goal number eight on the year. And Bill Numoski gets the assist. And for Numoski, that's his fourth assist of the year as a goalkeeper. Bill Numoski, his fourth assist as a goalkeeper for the Invaders on the year. And the Invaders go up four to two. Moyers with the ball. Right side, it comes at midfield to Knezic. Knezic being hounded by Kia, sends it ahead for Delinsky. JD back to Knezic. Knezic behind Kia, ball blocked by Pisano. Delinsky with a follow, it's wide, and knocked away by Kondrich anyway. And Tobin comes out of there with it for Canton. Toby stops shy of the midfield line, lets Milwaukee clear back on D. Invaders with a two-goal lead. And we're at the halfway mark of the fourth quarter. Seven and a half minutes left in the game. Kia got inside Knezic. Kia leaves it for Scarelli, posted up out front. Kia moves inside on the weave, and back outside it comes to Kondrich. Kondrich ahead for Kia, posted up. And he's taken down by Knezic, and that's the fourth foul on Milwaukee on the trip. Invaders will put it in play. Tobin shoots, and a good save by Pierce. And Kia with a follow, and that one's airborne in the stage. Invaders got that in play quickly, and I think the only guy in Milwaukee that was ready was the goalkeeper, Pierce. 7-14 left in the game. Canton 4, Milwaukee 2. Goal kick, Milwaukee. Pierce to put it in play. Kramer to watch the proceedings out there in the box. And we're underway. Taps it out to Alioto. Back in the box to Pierce. 7 9 left in the game. Pierce over to Knezic. Knezic with Kramer there at midfield. Delinsky. Delinsky's got a handful of Kenny Lola. And he dumps it over on the side. And Alioto has it there. Alioto trying to get inside Lola. And Lola's going to get called for holding. And the team fouls are even at four apiece with 6.57 left in the game. Canton four. Milwaukee two. Alioto dumps it over. Fleps can't get the shot. Knezic dumps it down. That's going to be knocked away by Paxos. Knezic chases it down at midfield. Kramer's on him. And Knezic back to the Milwaukee red line to John Delinsky. J.D. dumps it forward, and there's nobody home for Milwaukee there. And Tim Tima controls in the invader zone. 6.37 left to go. Tima ahead for Kramer, and back to Tim Tima. Timmy sends it ahead for Pikasinski. Pikasinski with Alioto, ball behind Lola. But Delinsky lost it to Paxos. Paxos on the breakaway. Pierce with a kick save. And Delinsky after the loose rebound. Coming the other way is Knezic. Knezic ahead for Fleps. Fleps left side invader red line. Lola back on D. Fleps moves to the middle. He shoots. Nomofsky punches that one away in the corner. And it bounces away from Kramer and out of play. Milwaukee will kick it in from the right corner with 6.07 to go in the game. And Peter Knezic will be the trigger man for the Milwaukee wave. Invaders lead 4-2. You're with 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio, radio home of Invader Soccer. Alioto comes in to put it in play, dumps it way back at midfield for Delinsky. 
Delinsky on Lola. Ahead for Fleps, posted up. Dumps it back to midfield. Knezic back there, and Kramer chases him. Chases him all the way back to the Milwaukee red line. Artie Kramer still chasing Peter Knezic, and he finally says, heck with this, dumps it back to the keeper, Pierce. Pierce to Tima. Tima heads it away. Kramer and Knezic in a race. They collide, and the foul goes against Kramer. And that's the fifth one on the Invaders on the push. 5.44 to go in the game. The Invaders lead 4-2. to two. Five fouls on Canton, four on Milwaukee. Alioto, Milwaukee red line. Kramer and Tima around him. Alioto moving left to right. Sends it ahead. The pick play knocked away. Over the head of Namovsky. Hit the crossbar. Paxos clears away. Followed by Delinsky is in the seats. 5.28 to go in the game. Goal kick Canton. Tell you what, if you ever want to test your reflexes, sit over there in that balcony in the front row, front two rows there. And keep your eye on the ball at all times. <laughs> 5.28 to play. Invaders four, Milwaukee two, and Canton will put it in play on the goal kick. The line with Tobin, Scarelli, and Kia on the floor for Canton. Pisano and Kondrich are the defenders. Zabala, Tron, Bennett, uh, Sunderland and Padilla on the floor for Milwaukee. Scarelli against Padilla. Now Tron over to help out, and Tron knocks it over to Bennett. Bennett midfield, left side Padilla, back to Bennett on the right. Louis Bennett comes forward, shot rejected by Tobin. Kia couldn't quite get the foot on that, and Sunderland has it at midfield for Milwaukee. Ahead for Zabala. Zabala lost it. Pisano blocks it. Zabala got it back through the box. Kia knocks it away. And Pisano over the head of Tron for Tobin on the right side. Tobin with Bennett. Bennett clears by. And Toby drops it back in the invader zone for Connors. Ahead the ball intercepted by Tron. Tron will have it knocked away by Kia. And Tobin controls. A little hesitation by Jung Tron. Really didn't have the good shot. And Kia was able to sweep that away from him. Right side at midfield for Lescarelli. 440 left in the game. Pisano back at the invader red line. Gets around Tron. And now stops. Tron clears back ahead at the Milwaukee red line for Scarelli. Scarelli inside Sunderland on the boards. Wall feed. And it's knocked away as Kia was in a little bit in front of it. And Zabala coming out with it. Zabala working on Kondrich. And Tomo hustles back on D. And now Bennett over on the right side to Padilla. 416 left. Bennett right side. Wines fires. No. It hits off the heel of Zabala. Tron controls there on the left side for Milwaukee. Out front, Padilla. Padilla with Scarelli. Shot wide, and Tobin dumps the rebound out on the left side for Scarelli. Kia clears up the field. Scarelli still with the ball at the Canton red line. And Lesh moves it ahead for Kia now at midfield. Kia working against Sunderland there, and he backs it up for Don Tobin. Under four minutes now. 3.51 left in the game. They dump it down on the Milwaukee, and Padilla will control there for the wave. Padilla in the goal box for Pierce. Pierce looking at the bench like, are uh, we going to call timeout yet? And apparently not. So no sixth attacker yet for Milwaukee. Alioto left side at midfield, 3.34 to go. Now Delinsky. Delinsky at the red line of Canton. Dishes back for Fleps. Fleps on Pikasinski. Crosses with Knezic. Shot blocked by Kondrich. Knocked it all the way out to midfield. Kia in a race with Knezic there. Dumps it back for Pierce. Pikasinski has, uh, on Pierce. And Delinsky dumps it ahead. Moyers with the ball, Kondrich with a deflection, and Moyers can't control, and here comes Scarelli, knocked away by Moyers. Moyers for Fleps. Fleps back in his shot by Knezic, save, rebound, Moyers knocked wide, and Tobin keeps it in the box long enough for Namoski to grab it and hold on. 2.59 left in the game. Tom Kondrich with the ball in the invader zone, and now Pisano. Pisano sends it long for Kenny Lola. Lola at midfield, working on Knezic. And Knezic knocks it away against the boards on the right side. And back in the goal box, it goes to Pierce. Pierce uh, thought about calling timeout and didn't. And ahead, and Pisano with a steal from Delinsky. And Pisano dribbles around against the boards, moving across the field, and backs it up for Lola. Two and a half minutes left in the game. Ahead for Pikasinski. Pikasinski and Kramer work in the Milwaukee zone. Pikasinski inside, wants Kramer out front. Ball loose, and Pierce just did get a hold of it. And now they call timeout, and Milwaukee will go to the sixth attacker with 2.18 left in the game. Milwaukee with the sixth attacker. They have scored only one goal this year with a sixth attacker, and they have given up five. The Invaders are no goal scored with a sixth attacker and they've given up five so neither team has had a lot of luck with that but it won't be Canton going with a sixth attacker in this game Milwaukee's the one in that situation right now 
They trail by two with 2.19 left to go. Invaders four, Milwaukee two. Tobin had two goals in the first half for Canton. Kia and Pisano have scored in the second half for the Invaders. And Steve Moyers has both Milwaukee goals, one in the first quarter, one in the fourth quarter. The score is Canton four, Milwaukee two, and the wave will go with a sixth attacker here. And it'll be Tim Alioto putting on the goalkeeper shirt. Now, last time we did, we saw them in Milwaukee, it was Knezic who came in as the extra attacker. This time, it'll be Tim Alioto. This will be the tenth time this year that Milwaukee has gone to the sixth attacker. In the previous nine times, in 16 minutes and 38 seconds, they have one goal, and they have given up five. Alioto to come in and play goal as the extra attacker for the Milwaukee Way. To defend against this for Canton, Art Kramer, Steve Frick, Ken Lola, Tim Tima, and Tom Condridge. And you can call them the fun bunch because Lola and Kramer have both played on the man down team and the rest of them are the man down team. It's Moyers, Bennett, Delinsky, Jeff Rogers, who has the only sixth attacker goal for Milwaukee, by the way, uh, Knezic and uh, Alioto. Knezic ahead for Rogers, back to Knezic at the red line. 2.09 to go in the game. Invaders by two. Rogers right side at midfield against Lola. Ahead for Bennett, back to Rogers. Rogers with Frick. Dumps it in. It's for Moyers in the corner. Condridge is there with him. Ball deflected by Condridge. Ahead to Tima. Here comes Frick. Frick clears it down. Alioto's back at the red line to punch it ahead. But a trip call went against Milwaukee, and now there are five fouls on each team. So the next foul will put somebody in the penalty box. Invaders clear for Kramer, but Delinsky gets that. J.D. back at the Milwaukee end, under two minutes, a minute 47 left to play. And the Invaders lead by two. Delinsky for Louis Bennett. Bennett back to Delinsky. J.D. midfield, right side, ahead for Jeff Rogers. Rogers chases it in the corner. Lola back. Centering ball is grabbed and held by Bill Namofsky. Namofsky, long lead for Steve Frick, up the left side of the floor. Frick got behind Knezic, up the left. He shoots, he scores! That'll be the second assist of the night for Namovsky. And it's 5-2, Ken. Steve Frick, so dangerous on those man downs. And Fricky picks up his 11th goal of the season. It comes at 13-34. That's one of the things that makes Steve Frick so valuable. The good speed and the man down are against the sixth attacker. Steve Frick can handle the ball so well and get up the floor and he showed it there and Namofsky wisely passing off to the to the guy that's done it for the invaders a lot of times in the past in that situation and the invaders lead 5-2 Aliota will stay in as the sixth attacker now only a minute 25 left in the game and it's uh, Moyers with it for Milwaukee over to Padilla left side at midfield for John Delinsky Kramer on him across the floor they want the shot by Knezic and that one's in the first row of the balcony again and the Invaders will have a goal kick with a minute 16 left in the game. Frick let off a howitzer that time to beat Alioto back. Alioto was actually in pretty good position to make that save, but Frick just drilled it. 5-2 Invaders. Tima taps it back in the goal box for Bill Namofsky. Namofsky lead headed away by Bennett. Bennett has it over to Moyers, but poked away by Tima, and Kramer has it ahead for Frick again. Alioto out of the net. Frick got away from him. Padilla has it in the corner. Frick and Padilla fight for it there, and they dump it in the goal box for Alioto. 59 seconds left in the game. Outlet right side to Louis Bennett. Louis Bennett. If he had a little less hair, he'd be perfect. Coming up the floor is Padilla, now John Delinsky. Delinsky forward for Knesset. Knezic left side on Tima, wall feed. No, Bennett with a shot blocked, and Tima clears it out to midfield. 39 seconds left. Frick tried to steal from Alioto, but they got it over to Padilla on the right side. Padilla to Bennett up in the air. Namofsky with a dandy save. Moyers with a follow knocked away. Condridge clears to midfield again. 27 seconds left. Invaders are going to break the losing streak. They lead 5-2. Alioto with a shot. That's going to be in the uh, seats. Out of play with 20 seconds left in the game. Canton will go to 22 and 9. Milwaukee will fall to 10 and 20. Mamofsky will go to 11 and 6 on the year in goal for the Invaders. And Bill Namofsky dumps it out for Tima. Back to Namofsky. 18 seconds to go. And Namofsky way up in the air for Frick. 
And Frick taps it back. Aliotto's got a problem and dumps it over to Padilla. Nine seconds left to go. Bennett with the ball for Milwaukee. Five seconds to go. Knezic down the side. Shot knocked away. Kramer has it. Mola, the game is over. Invaders win it five to two. Don Tobin with a pair of goals early. Bill Namoski with a pair of assists late. And the Invaders pick up their 22nd win of the year to go 22 and nine. And depending on what Chicago does, they'll either lead by one and a half or two and a half games in the Northern Division. The Shockers are playing Louisville tonight. We'll let you know. Offensive star of the game, no surprise, Don Tobin. Once again, the Invaders will remain on the field. 